Hello everybody! Today I am here to demo and talk about our most coveted product in the catalog, the Norwex Mop System. This mop is absolutely amazing and I'm going to show you all the different features today along with the different mop pads and options that we have for you. So you can choose two colors of our mop. You can pick those and look in the catalog for more info on that. This today that I'm demoing is our rose gold mop system and I want to show you how it raises and lowers and how it works. So um, for our mop, all you have to do is twist it and then raise it. It raises really high for people who are taller and nice and short if you want your kids to use it. So if you are using the mop, you want the rubber ball about mouth level. And this rubber ball is great for removing scuff marks off the floor, which I love. As we move down the handle, this piece uh, here is great for hanging the mop on the edge of your countertop so that you can um, keep the damp mop pad off the floor if you need to stop mopping for a moment. Then we're going to go ahead and move down farther down the mop and we're going to get to the mop head. The mop head is removable because this mop can attach to a couple of our other products including our Enviro wand for extra reach. Now on the mop head we have extra um, extra strong velcro here and this extra strong velcro is excellent for holding the mop pad for it not coming off in any way and you'll see that the mop head swivels in a 360 direction which I love but we also have a locking mechanism on our mop that allows you to lock the head into place so that it only swivels back and forth. And the benefit of that is when you go to dust walls or windows, then you can lock it in position and it won't flip flop all over the place. Now let's talk about our mop pads and then I'll show you guys a demo of how amazing this mop is. So when you buy the mop system, it is going to come with a sweeping pad that looks similar to this. And on the pad, it does say floor dry, so you know you're gonna use this dry. This is like your silent vacuum. It uses static electric charge to pick up dust, debris, all that kind of stuff. You just rub it together, get the static going, put it on the bottom of your mop, and go ahead and sweep everything up, and I will demo that shortly. Then we have our damp or wet mop pad. This you are going to run under the water a couple of times, wring it out really well because you don't want it super wet, and go ahead and begin to mop your floors. These two pads should be able to do all of your flooring without having to stop and rinse or re-wet or anything like that. Your floors, if you're using this wet mop pad, should dry in about 40 to 60 seconds. If it's not drying that quickly or you're starting to get smears or streaks on your flooring, it's because your mop pad is too wet. So you want to definitely wring more water out of it. This is safe for all flooring types, hard flooring types. So you can use this on hardwood floors. And if you wanna minimize the amount of water you're using, some people prefer to use a spray bottle and then use the mop part, uh, the mop pad part dry um, and mop that way. But for my hardwood flooring, I just get it uh, damp and go ahead and mop my hardwood floors. If you have tile, this is our tile wet mop pad. And this tile wet mop pad has some scrubbies in here that help get down in the grout and little grooves that we have on textured tile to help give some extra scrubbing and cleaning power. This is great. And we have our chenille mop pad. And this is actually another dry mop pad. And I will show you how this one works. Uh, this one is great if you have pets. This is going to help all of the pet hair stick into the fingers and um, that way you don't have to constantly stop and dust off your flat uh, dry mop pad. If you get a lot of dog hair on this one, you'll have to continually brush it off because it's gonna coat the pad and no more will stick. So this helps if you've got really shedding pets, which I don't, but I'm gonna also show you how it does help pick up larger debris. And then finally, we have our window cloth mop pad. And this is, you guessed it, for doing your windows. I pair this with my 
wet mop pad. So I use my wet mop pad and then I dry the windows with the dry mop pad and it makes it go super fast and easy. So let's go ahead and get started with our mopping. I'm just going to drop the mop pad on the floor. I'm gonna bring you guys down to floor level so you can see all of the action that is happening down here, including all of the nasty dirt and debris that I have on my flooring. So we've got you down here and you can see there's all kinds of good stuff, especially right here. You can see all the black marks of sticky gooey stuff. So let me show you how to use our dry mop pad. So we've already rubbed it together for a static electric charge. I'm adjusting the pole so that the ball, rubber ball is at the roof, sorry, at my lips or mouth level. And I'm going to go ahead and start mopping. Now, if you notice, I set the mop pad off to one side because this can flip up and do my baseboards and dust those off, which is very, very convenient. I don't have baseboards in the kitchen, but uh, let me just go through here. And the important part about using the dry mop pad is to stop and turn around the other direction so that all the dust, dirt, and debris that you are trapping stays at the front of your mop pad just in case it doesn't pick everything up. So you can see here that there is a pile of debris that did not get stuck to the bottom of the mop because it's heavier debris. But you can also see the bottom of the mop pad has lots and lots of hair and stuff stuck to it. So you wanna keep this pile of stuff at the front side of your mop and when I'm all done uh, sweeping my flooring, I use a damp Norwex cloth to pick this up and just throw it in the trash. I do wanna show you the chenille mop pad, so I'm gonna go ahead and take this thing off. I love how ergonomically um, awesome this mop is. It doesn't hurt my uh, back, it doesn't cause me to have to bend over, and I can easily drop the mop pad on the floor and um, continue my mopping. So here we go. We're gonna go ahead and do a pass in the kitchen with the chenille mop pad. And we're gonna see how much more this chenille one may hold on to. Remember, it's not gonna hold on to big things like Cheerios and stuff like that, but I do have a good example there for you of all the stuff that it can hold on to, which is really gross. Uh, so it does hold on to all that dirt and debris. So let's go ahead and finish. Because I do want to show you the mopping portion of this. So I want to get it, get the dirt swept up. I'm going to go ahead and move it over here into the corner and wipe it up later with a cloth. And now we are going to put our wet mop pad on to the surface. First, I'm going to show you how wet I get it. So we're gonna go ahead and come over to our sink. And then I will demo for you how to do the wet mop pad. So here we go, over to the sink. All right, so at the sink, The way that I get my mop pad wet, it's very simple. It's just getting a pad wet, but sometimes it can be a little confusing on how wet do you actually get it. So I'm trying to get this to stand up here. All right. So you actually just run it under water. And just so you can see the water is beginning to absorb. And then I like to kind of rub it against itself to help disperse that water. Because again, we don't want the mop pad to be too wet. Once I'm done with that, I take the mop pad and I wring it out. This helps disperse the water and also get rid of any excess water. You can see I did not use very much water. All right, there are three ways you can get our mop. So the first way is you can buy it. It is the last mop you'll ever buy. You won't have to be wasting all of those reusable mop pads that you generally purchase. Um, your flooring will be nice and clean just using water and no chemicals. 
and it is the last mop, like I said, that you will ever purchase. It is worth every penny. Uh, second way, you could host a party and use your host dollars, or sometimes it's in our host rewards, and get the mop discounted or totally free, which is awesome, right? Why not get it for free? Or you can get it for free in your consultant starter kit by joining Norwex and sharing the mission of Norwex with others and get your mop for free in your starter kit. So those are the ways to get the mop. And now let's mop the floor. So I have the mop pad here on my floor. Now there's no special uh, way that you have to turn this. You're just going to stick your mop base to it. You're going to just start mopping. And you can see here and all along over here, there is some black stuff stuck to the floor. We'll get a little closer. And this mop makes quick work of it. If you ever get to a spot where it doesn't come off super easily, you can just put a little pressure with your foot and rub. It's not gonna hurt your mop or your floor and quickly remove everything. So I love how fast this wet mop pad works to clean my flooring. And I was gonna turn it over for you. It's not wanting to flip over. So here we go. So I'm going to now show you how to use the mop pad on your windows. Mop pad for the windows. I know this is a longer video, so thanks for sticking with me. Um, before we move to how to use this on the windows, I do want to show you one added item that you would definitely want to get if you get uh, the Norwex mop system, and that is our rubber brush. So this is great for removing pet hair, even from your furniture, but it is also awesome for getting all of this dirt and debris off of your mop pad and then into the trash can. So I usually do it still attached to my mop, but I just sweep down the mop pad with the rubber brush. And it cleans everything off really easily so that my mop pad is nice and clean and ready for me to use again. So it makes it really, really simple. Otherwise, you're kind of banging them off outside and getting that dirt and stuff up in your face, which is not very fun. So let's go ahead and look over here at our window. In fact, we are going to move over to our window. And I will show you how I use the mop pad for the window. So I'm starting with my wet mop pad. And all I'm going to do is first lock the base into place so that it doesn't go all over the place. And then I'm just going to mop the window. dog prints, fingerprints, and all. This works on the outside too. Remove my wet mop pad and place on the window mop pad, which I use dry. And this I'm going to use my dry to dry and have no streaks on my window. Might stick a little bit at first as you're drying it off, but as you get it dry, you'll be able to Go over the area again. Thing off. No. There we go. So completely clean window. Like I said, our mop system is awesome. I highly recommend getting it. And if you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to me and I'm happy to answer them. I hope you all have a good day. Bye.